activity. Today is Saturday, June 13th, and we are back at Disney Springs. Since the last video I made at Disney Springs, quite a few more shops and restaurants have opened. So I'm here tonight to show you guys what's new at Disney Springs, what else has opened. Have a wonderful night. Definitely we're gonna get some food, maybe some drinks, check out what's new in the shops. If anything catches my eye, maybe we'll do a little shopping. So let's get our masks on and go have a fun time at Disney Springs. Come on, let's go. The mask that I'm wearing right now and that you'll see me wearing in a lot of my recent videos is from Vera Bradley here in Disney Springs. There's actually like room to breathe inside of it. It doesn't cling to your face. So I'm gonna go in and buy more of these so that I have backups. Got two. I just heard a kid say I'm not. Guys, there are stormtroopers watching over Disney Springs. Nice and orderly, citizens. Move along. Well, that wraps up another exciting patrol. Yep. Head back to base. Ready when you are. <laughs> oh, Florida. Got a little afternoon downpour going on. Just waiting it out. I stepped into the Morimoto Street Food area, which is like a quick service window where you can grab awesome street foods. It's probably my favorite quick serve here. And I grabbed a yuzu lager and I noticed it's a Hitachino beer, which I've had others of theirs and they were super delicious. So I've got high hopes for this. And I ordered one pork egg roll and one cauliflower and cheese spring roll. They look delicious. Let's dig in. That is cheesy goodness. Really, really great stop for some yummies and a refreshing beverage. They also have plenty of non-alcoholic beverages and a like assortment of beer that changes. So one day you may get one thing and then like a week or two later there may be something different, which I find kind of fun. I made a dash for it away from Morimoto Street Food across the way to Raglan Road, one of my favorite places here at Disney Springs that has finally reopened. Of course, it being Raglan Road, they had to get cute and clever with their social distancing markers and with their signage. There's only about a 15, 20 minute wait right now. They do recommend reservations, but I was able to put myself down, party of one, and I'm excited to have a little snack and a drink. There's a QR code on your table. You scan it with a QR code reader app, and the menu should pull up on your phone. It's not quite working for me. I got it to work, yay! And they even designed it all cute. So there's a menu of food, starters, dinner, sides, desserts, drinks. They've got cocktails and all sorts of beer and wine and just like a lot of nice options like always so go ahead and order i've started out with water and my coaster here says speak dublinese happy in me nappy it means i'm fine thank you so next time someone asks me how you doing i'm gonna be like i'm happy in me nappy because it's close to the same price as one regular sized drink i ordered the raglan road signature collection flight of beers which comes with we have the raglan irish stout the bloomsday pale ale the tri wishes grand irish red ale and the decider belgium wit cider they come in these beautiful glasses on this gorgeous wooden board i'm not going to try to pronounce what it says there but if i can get someone else to say it i will this flight is something that you could really easily share with someone and you could split each of the samples and then everybody gets to try four different things i love variety and I love trying different flavors, especially of craft and specialty beers and drinks. And they brought me warm bread and a delicious glaze to dip the bread in. Ooh, let's get started. I ordered bangers and mash, by the way, and I'm so ready to eat it. With a flight of beer and my bread and my glaze, wait for my bangers and mash. It's not, it's not too bad. Let's just try the bread. It's like fresh. Mm, it smells like Odie and fresh. My bangers and 
mash have arrived. They arrived with a cover on them to keep them hot. I took the cover off and I can already smell how delicious it smells. Looks absolutely gorgeous, love the presentation. I've eaten here many times and I know it's always delicious, so I have no doubt it will be delicious again today. What a spread for just one person. Can't wait till Sam is back. Okay, let's get a little bit of a little bit of banger and a little bit of mash. And mix them together. And that's a forkful. Mmm. 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 Mm. The sauce is like almost sweet. It is so, so delicious. The sauerkraut just like, oh my gosh, you guys. I kid you not, this is the best dish I've had at Raglan Road so far. This is so, so savory with like a hint of sweetness and it's like rich but not greasy or heavy. It's just perfect. Clearly I've started with this one. I'll move on to the others next. But this one's delicious. So we know that everything's not quite normal right now and everybody's operating the best they can under the guidelines. And keeping that in mind, the one thing that's tough here is the live performance has begun, the dancing, the live music, but you can't really watch it unless you have a table facing the stage because there's not really space to congregate anymore if you want to watch the dancers and live music and you're not sitting by the stage with a clear view. So just keep that in mind if you're visiting during this time. See? I talked to my awesome server and she kindly moved me to this area of the bar where I have even though it's a little bit of an obstructed view, at least a view, and I can watch and hear the live music, and I am just so incredibly happy. That was very, very kind of them. And with that, live music is back at Raglan Road. The bangers and mash was so delicious, but I couldn't finish it. So I packed up the last of it into a to-go box as I've got this awesome new seat at the bar right next to the live music. I ordered a dessert drink. This is the iced Irish. So it's basically like a coffee drink with some Baileys and whipped cream. Yummy, yum, yum. Cheers. This is, that's just, again, nice to be back. because I knew they just reopened this past week. But I wasn't planning on coming today, but sometimes those unexpected surprises are the best. It's so great to be here again. The food is so delicious. The service is always top notch and the live performers, music and dancers are just phenomenal. It was so very kind of them to move me to a seat at the bar where I could watch the dancers and performers, thank you so much Raglan Road. I truly appreciate it. I know that they have a lot of rules to follow right now, as does everyone, and they're doing an excellent job while still giving you that sense of welcome and hospitality that they're known for. I know that it can't be easy, so I wanna give them a huge props and a huge thank you. Highly recommend, but I do recommend you make a reservation and be patient and be kind and just have fun. There's at least one more thing I wanna check out this afternoon at Disney Springs that just reopened recently as well, so let's go have a little after dinner shop. By the way, the outside patio, Cooks, is also open. Another very popular store here at Disney Springs that has just recently reopened is Disney Style. I love this store, you can get so much cool and unique stuff here and just the ambiance is really fun. Also, they have a teacup you can sit in, so you know, 
we gotta go in. Just take a look at the fun window displays and it gives you a little bit of an indication of the cool stuff they've got in here. They're actually counting the number of guests that go in to keep it to a minimum. So let's see if we can get in. Hi. Awesome, thank you. Yes, I'm in. We're all mad here, except we're all happy because we're in the store, right? He doesn't look happy, but trust me, he's happy. Oh my gosh. Just like the merchandising in here is top notch. It is artful, I gotta say. You put a Dole Whip swirl, I buy everything. I think a lot of us can agree that Disney is our happy place. Look at these awesome shirt designs they have. Oh my gosh, look at this 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea sweater. You guys, dressing rooms are closed right now. I'm sure they'll reopen at some point, but for now, the Mickey Mouse Club dressing rooms are closed. We've got Rapunzel lanterns. Cool music playing. I love the store. Mickey seriously looks like he is jamming right now, and I believe that he is. I love the retro designs. Love it, love it, love it. They've got a lot of the coral colored merch on the coral ears, which I really love. And they've got this super cute lounge fly series that has like Dumbo and pirates and the country bears and Disney characters, orange bird, like a mix of Magic Kingdom characters on it. I have one, it's Haunted Mansion, and I love it. But I just wanna show you this one, cause it's super cool. I know not everybody loves It's a Small World the way that I do, but I love Mary Blair, and I just love a dark ride that's like a water ride, so I love this bag. They've even got spirit jerseys for your dogs now. What won't they think of? Hey, Chip. I love this bag, too. This is the issue with coming in this store. Everything's just so good that I want it all. So I end up buying nothing because I get overwhelmed. But I guess that's better. Just buy like one thing at a time that you really, really want and slowly build up your collection. Keep it minimal, but like things you really, really want. Oh yeah. That is good. There are just giant churros up here too. I haven't worn a shirt like this for I don't know how long, but maybe it's time to bring it back. I mean, if Disney style says it's in style, I've now been influenced. What do you guys think? I, I like only wear black shirts. You guys know this if you watch. You know I pretty much only wear black shirts, but with color on them. But maybe it's time I start incorporating more color. And why not start by going all out and just getting a super 90s design. Let's do it. So someone just asked a question and I wouldn't have even thought to ask that because I'm an adult shopping for adults, but kid stuff, you wanna to go to World of Disney because Disney style is all for adults. And you know, us grown up kids. But look at this sweet Scrooge McDuck bag. Like, they are, they are really hitting it out of the park with this. Could this bag be any cuter? It's a rhetorical question, because I really don't think it could. The teacup's finally empty. I always sit in this thing every time I come in here. So we're gonna go ahead and sit in it before we purchase our shirt. You just kinda like, sit in it and pretend you're riding the teacup. Whee! Above you. is a gondola with a cleverly hidden fire sprinkler in it. And if you look straight up from the teacup, it says, let's go for a spin. Very clever. They've even got ears for every day of the week. Probably for like months and months and months worth too. Very cute. Love a good unicorn bag. Disney Style is such a unique store and they take their merchandising so seriously. Like, it is really, really creative and artful. It's so much fun going in there. It's almost like an attraction in and of itself. Even if you don't purchase anything, it's still just so much fun to see all the creative new designs and styles and the way that they merchandise it. And as we head out from that little shopping spree, well, I bought one shirt. That's a shopping spree for me. It's now turning into twilight, dusky twilight time. 
And that means it's about time for us to head home. I love this fountain. It always makes a rainbow. Sadly, the Coca-Cola store is not open yet, but when it does open, you guys know I'll be here to show you what's up in there. Oh look, the Amphicars cars are running again. Well, that is really, really cool. That is something I really want to do. I want to get like a group of friends together and do that. Star Wars Galactic Outpost is back open and there's a line to get in because they are counting guests like all the other stores and keeping a limited capacity inside the store. Marvel Superhero Headquarters also back open, keeping a limited capacity but no line as of now. Candy Cauldron is also back open and there's a nice line out in front of it because they're only letting guests in a few parties at a time just to keep capacity low inside the store. It's a very small store if you've been in there. A very cool store, but a very small store, and they don't have all the decorations out in the window like they usually do. Probably just to kind of try to keep it to a minimum. Normally they have like people making candies and stuff here out in the window and displays out there, but right now they've just got kind of a display of candy, which is totally cool. And the magic mirror portion here is empty. That's usually filled with treats. And that's probably just for safety and cleanliness during this period. Before Disney Springs and everything closed, I was talking about the new M&M store that is coming soon. And look, progress. This is exciting. I hope we get to go to the grand opening of it. We can. We can? Yep. Veronica says we can, so that means we can. It's about 7.15 p.m. right now. And because it's summer in Florida, the sun is still out and it is just incredibly beautiful. This time of day is like just heavenly. The sky is glowing. There's like a milky look to the light. It's just absolutely, it's dreamlike. It's ethereal, if you will, and I will. And that's my cue to wrap this video up. I'm gonna stroll around a little bit just to take things in and enjoy the rest of the evening before heading home. And I may add in a little montage of scenes after I do this outro, so stick around to the end of the video for a little montage of the milky, dusky, ethereal, sunsetty hour here at Disney Springs. I hope you guys had fun going on a little bit of a shopping and eating spree with me today. I kind of had two dinners. I guess you could say Morimoto Street Food was my appetizer, and Raglan Road was my dinner, drinks, and desserts. I definitely ate more today than I usually eat, but I didn't have breakfast, so it cancels it out, right? What are you gonna do? I'm just happy to be back here at Disney Springs and things are getting better and better with each visit as more things open. I really feel like Disney Springs is doing a great job and I really feel like the guests here are doing a great job because it's not all just the establishment's job to keep things in order. It's the guest's job to keep things in order. And I feel like guests here at Disney Springs, for the most part, are wonderful. Everybody kind of stays out of each other's way. Everybody's friendly. Maybe it's because they're in such a good mood to be here. I don't know, but I've been pleased. I've been back several times. I've even been back sometimes that I haven't made videos. So I've been here more times than like the amount of vlogs I've made about Disney Springs because sometimes I go out and don't make a video just for fun. And that helps me to be more informed and give you guys better information when I do make a vlog so that I'm not just basing it on the few times that I go out to film. I'm also basing things on the times that I go out between the videos and like what I see as a whole. So with that, I've got a new shirt, two new masks, some leftover food to take home to eat for my like third dinner and great memories that I made today to take home with me. Can't ask for better. By the way, thank you so much to all of you who have been leaving amazing comments, really good feedback. I appreciate every single one of you, everybody who's new to the channel, who's come on board recently, everybody who's been here with me for the past two years or one year or however long you've been here, you're all equally part of the family. The super enthused crew, the enthusiasts, whatever you wanna call it. Thank you guys again so much. See you next time and until then, stay chill and stay enthused. Bye.